Here we are at our first plumbing unit and we're going to be looking at supply lines and shutoff valves and how they attach to the hot and cold water pipes underneath the sink. First thing we're going to do is zoom in here underneath the sink and we're going to talk about how the valve attaches to the pipe itself. Now these are your two pipes sticking out of the wall here. So you can see it from the side, I have another pipe. There will be a nut that slides onto the end of the pipe and the next part that slides on would be this neoprene ring here. Notice that there is a taper to it and that taper needs to face towards the end of the pipe. This is because the valve itself has a taper on the end of it and this taper matches this taper over here. When those two match it creates a watertight seal. So this, these two tapers match up together. The nut comes through and it has a sh this shoulder on the back side of this ring as this nut is tightened, it's going to squash this white piece and create the watertight seal around the pipe and to the valve itself. So you bring that forward and then you can tighten that up. We're only going to do things hand tight here in class. Your valve's here and now you have this line here. Now this would be connected to your valve or to your supply line running up to the sink. Next I want to show you what's on the bottom side of your faucet. Here's your uh, typical uh, bathroom sink faucet and you'll see that there are two lines on the bottom for your hot and cold lines. What you're going to have to do is reach up underneath the sink and you need to attach this flex line to this here. Now this is just the example one. The real one is located up here a little bit underneath the sink. So you're going to have to reach behind the sink, find that threaded pipe hanging down, and thread on the supply line just and just make that hand tight. Next thing you do is you're going to take the rest of your parts here, you're going to slide on the compression nut, the compression ring, the valve, slide the nut forward, tighten that ring, Again, make sure you put that ring on the right direction and then you connect in your other line, your, your supply line to here, thread that on. You're going to do both sides, both hot and cold lines. Once you get that done, have me check it off. Alright, thanks.